So the first thing we'll be putting in the case is the power supply. The screws that you use to screw the power supply into the case come with the case, not with the power supply. Alright, so we have the power supply. There are two ways that you can put this power supply into your case. You can put it fan down or fan up. Corsair orients the stickers on both sides so that it doesn't matter. The stickers will always be facing up. I'm going to point it face down. I have standoffs on the bottom that keep the fan up. Next, we're going to put in our SSD. So you're going to take it out of the box. It's very simple. You're just going to slide this drive bay out. Stick it right up here. And you'll line it up with these holes like this and then screw it in. Okay, because it's an SSD, I just put two screws in. One right there and one right there. Slide it into the bay. Just like that. And there you go, your SSD is installed. All right, now for installing your hard drive. All right, so you're gonna take it out of the anti-static bag. And for this case, you have these brackets. Put these onto the hard drive. You wanna put it on like this, where it fits the length of the uh, hard drive. So now it'll slide right in there. I'm going to kind of set up a test bench here. Um, I have my static wristband connected to my metal case and it's on my wrist, so I'm grounded. So I'm going to take my motherboard out of its package, very careful. Set it down on the box. Okay, so you're going to take this lever off. So I'm going to grab this remove tab. Pick it up just like that, nice and slowly. And I'm going to set this back on the table. So for this CPU, putting it in, the LG 1155, there's little notches on the side of the CPU. I thought I was trying to line it up with the like triangle and the circles, but that's not what you're doing. There's little notches in the side. You're just going to line those up and set it down without touching any of the, just like that. You're not gonna push it down or anything. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna set this down over the top and you're just gonna press. And you are pressing really hard. And there you go, your CPU is now installed. Now we'll be installing the RAM. All right, so to do this, it's pretty simple. Okay, it only goes in one way. You'll see a little stick, and you're just gonna press down until you hear it click. All right, now for the other stick. This is slotted, so there's only one way you can put it in. Push it down, just like so. So now, we're going to install the Hyper 212 Plus. 212 Evo is on the motherboard now. So is my RAM, my CPU. Now I'm going to get ready to put it into the case. So we're going to put the case over. Get all of these cables out of the way. First we're gonna install our standoffs. Okay, so as I was trying to fight my motherboard into the case, I remember that you can, you can flip this on its side and it'll be a lot easier. So let me throw the motherboard in real quick and we'll be right back. All right, I got the motherboard in. I'm going to now get rid of all these wires, try to connect them to the motherboard. This is what it's looking right, like right now. Motherboard's in. All right, I'll be back as soon as I get all of the power set up. All right, so we're going to do a test start. We're going to see if this thing boots up the first time. So I'm going to click the power button. If lights, two fans, yeah! 
Okay, so it booted up. Hey guys, thanks for watching the whole video. If there's something you wished I would have shown, leave me a comment. My brother will be building a computer soon, and I'm going to do another video like this. The difference being that the next one will be way better. I'm going to do another video talking about how I got Ubuntu in the Mac OS to run on this computer. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. If you want to be the coolest person ever, you should definitely subscribe to my channel.